Hello and welcome to episode 157 of the Veeam Community Recap. We are out of Germany, somewhere else, back home and more. Madalena, how are you doing? And I'm going to call out that shirt because we got some news to share. But what's going on? Yeah. Hey, Rick. Hello, community. Yes, we are back from Germany uh, with some cold, as you can sense in my voice, but I have to get better until next week because I'm going back, <laughs> back to Frankfurt for the yeah. BUG Germany event that we have in there, but we are going to talk a bit later. But how are you, Rick? Because you are definitely not in normal circumstances. Yeah, so last week in 156, we mentioned that there's going to be a user group in Boston, I'm here two and a half hours early for it, and I uh, thought I might as well steal the recap here from the classroom. One of our partners here in the Northeast, you know, they've got a great facility. Um, I'm in the back of the room. Uh, I've got we've got Safi Omos right here in the room. we got Kirsty Kirsten the Kirstness over there, and E.R. Telly stepped out. So we've got some of our colleagues here as well. We've got uh, a, a, an analyst event tomorrow, which is what's really driving us to Boston, but Whenever we're, we're somewhere, always add something to it. And so that was really the preface for the user group. So we're we're kind of stoked for that. So just got in, got my luggage over there. In fact, part of my luggage is holding up the the laptop. So it'll be good. And stuff. you have your but, gallery in there as well, like the girls. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. I, uh, I, I love awesome. like, you know, I mean, Sophia and Kirsten and a couple others are in Ohio. But Emily uh, lives in Arizona, so I don't get to see her as much, right? So it's always a treat to get to see the team, much like I saw you last week. You know, it's always, so good, it's to, always good to connect. But we've got uh, – we need to start putting rules on special department news because we've got so much. Are, are you ready to jump into it? I am ready to do it, Rick. Let's uh, do it. But I don't know about those rules on special uh, department you're not, you're news. Not you cannot the convince me on that. Okay. All right. Well, I will – Meet you in the middle, talk about it later. But before we do it, number one most important thing is rock out my Zoom it. I forgot. I rebooted the computer, so we need to do that. So first up is Marco S with Veeam Encryption. What is the key? And I like that because he's talking about encryption. And I've got a few thoughts on this one, Manny, but uh, what kind of stuck out for you? Yeah, it's 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 a great topic. But before I start uh, discussing that, I uh, just wanted to say I was having a discussion with Marco S. And he, I was like, hey, Marco, you have really great, you know, you've been sharing really great content. You should share more. And he's like, yeah, but I run out of ideas. What should I share? And now he came up <laughs> with something. So that's good. I like that. So, yeah, basically, he discusses the importance of data nowadays and ways to protect it. Um, and he starts by mentioning the, the three core principles of information security, uh, confidentiality and integrity of information, availability of data. And he goes further saying that software solutions like Veeam Backup and Replication are crucial because they help to achieve the three mentioned cardinal principles of information security. And then he goes into specific, of course, getting us to the 32110 uh, rule and further down to encryption. And he has a full paragraph on Veeam encryption, why and how it works. Great information shared um, in here, Marco. Really enjoy that. And at the end, he stresses one more time Time, how important is using best practices and how he strongly recommends the, the 32110 rule with encryption. So, yeah, I didn't go too much into details this time, but uh, it, it, this is a detailed article. So what's your opinion on it, Rick? Well, I think it's fantastic. And using Veeam encryption is actually more important than ever. And I'm going to say something and you might even hear Kirsten laugh in the background, but especially when we put backup data in the cloud, in the public cloud, I like to say encrypt your backup data in the cloud or someone else will do it for you. And I mean that because if you think about the risks today with data and things like that, exfiltration, you don't want someone to just pick up a backup file. So definitely rock out the encryption the way you want it. And Marco, this is fantastic. And the one thing I want to highlight, yep, and you got it right here, is Veeam Backup Enterprise Manager. There's, I remember when our product managers brought this capability to market, they said the number one thing we're doing right here 
is solving the biggest problem with encryption, which is losing the encryption key. So there's this password loss prevention. And actually, I need to like do a little quick video or something about that because importing a backup and where you've forgotten the password and doing this, this little picture right here, which is like wicked, wicked awesome. I'm in Boston, so I'll say wicked awesome. You know, uh, it's just really, really cool stuff. If you haven't done it, you really should. So um, Marco, good stuff. Thanks for sharing this. And you're hitting all the marks here, just the encryption, the loss prevention. Love the C. CIA triad. We don't hear enough good stuff about that. I know Kirsty and I are going to rock out a uh, session up in Canada next month with that being featured. So good stuff. Thanks for sharing, Marco. Absolutely. All right. Next up is Shane. Man, he's just going deep and wide. Entropy malware scan update. He had a great post. Did we figure every that maybe? Week. Every week. Of every us. week. Yeah. Other and uh, man. Thank you, Shane, for this series. And what what has he brought up as an update here? So you remember, like last week, Shane had an article on malware detection in line entropy scan. And then there are some updates. Basically, this is what it is. This post he shared some last week. He shared some forum post, and then he basically commented on all those feature requests, and he gave some feedback on um. On, on this feature as well and uh, some findings and uh, you know like what community members were kind of requesting as additional functionalities to the Beam malware detection. And the good news in here is that on the inline encryption detection diagnostic, the dev team seems to have found a reliable way to match encrypted block to a file and they will start building this tool next week. And that was announced by Anton himself. So how cool is that? You know, like, and you can see the comments as well, how people like our community kind of appreciates that, you know, like, hey, they are listening to our feedback and they are taking in consideration our requests and they are moving fast with that and doing all these uh, features adds on. So this is great, I think. Thank you for, yeah. for sharing with us, Shane, in here as well. This might be the first time where the community is delivering the roadmap. This is fantastic. So tell me you have a roadmap without telling me you have a roadmap. Rock on, Shane. Thank you so much for that one. All right. Next up is Christian Emerson. I am Soul, talking about VPC subnets, network ACL, security groups in the cloud, cloud, cloud. Why did this one make your cut, Maddie? I think this is very detailed, first of all. <laughs> everything from so Christian is very detailed. Yeah, so. everything with Christian is very detailed. But yeah, I think this is really good. He's actually showing us how to create our own virtual private cloud with Amazon and what are the advantages of doing it. Amongst those is the fact that allows us to design a networking architecture that aligns with the your organization requirements, and then you can define subnets, configure root tables, implement various network configurations to optimize the performance, the reliability, the data flow within that virtual network. And then he takes us through VPC creation steps, how to create a subnet, internet gateway, how to attach the internet gateway to VPC, root tables, and a few other things. I'm not going to go over all of them. As I said, this is long and very detailed, but it's a super, super good article and pretty good if you, you know, like the DIY uh, with Amazon. This is really good because it's going to help you so much to, to do all this um, VPC uh, with Amazon. So, yeah, really This is thorough. great. Really uh, good. First of all, Christian's from Germany, so everything has to be detailed. Yeah, <laughs> but, there you um, go. <laughs> and hopefully you saw the, the cameo there from Greg Varney, one of the vanguards here. We're scheming up this user group. Uh, but Christian, one of the things I want to highlight about this post that I really like, the one thing about the cloud that I love, and it also gives me frustration, is that it always changes. And so like the networking setup, like if I've done it a long time ago, it's different now. And so what you're doing is also showing the latest and greatest in Amazon uh, on how to set up these VPCs. So that's rather awesome. So I appreciate you there like that. And I'm not even halfway through, man. Did we exactly. have to give him extra permissions for this many screenshots? I don't know. I got Sophia laughing no, on that he, one. He knows how to do it. Okay, he, knows he knows how, how to how do, how do it. it. Okay. Well, hey, Christian, fantastic. I, 
I, oh, I'm not even logged in, but I'll give you a like at another time. Thank you for that one. Uh, good stuff, Christian. All right. I think that's three, right? That's three, that's and three. we are not breaking the rule. Now, <laughs> hard pivot to special department. This is awesome. We have a great milestone. Big thank you, Sophia, for launching the, she's right there, uh, the security blueprints from our Veeam Solution Architects. And OG Joji himself, VM Joe, uh, was really a champion to help bring up this opportunity. And um, man, this is great. Uh, let's, you want to take a look at one, eh? Let's do it. This is, uh, well, what would you call this? This is like an architecture hub of docs. Is that the best way to explain it? Yeah, I believe this is like um, insights from Vim Solutions Architects, as the title says. Basically, they are uh, giving us some short reports of our architecture covering findings that our essays are seeing in the field. So I would say that would be the best um, way to yeah. put it. Exactly. So let's pull up one of these PDFs. So single production data center to offsite data center for 10,000 VMs. And there's a couple different. Oh, this is, this is gold. Look at that. It's the config. It's the disk space. It's the RAM. Love it, love it, love it. So that's just yeah. one example of some of these things. And Joe, well, this is a great milestone. So thank you so much for um, getting this up. Thank you, Sophia, for um, getting this. And I love the. Um, just real simple look here with this thematic group with just the uh, the bounce mark. Bounce mark I think it's more know. like a category. It's not really like a. Uh, oh, it's a category. It's more like a category. This one is not really yeah. a thematic group. If you look at it, it's true. And yeah. the cool part is like when you open yeah, it, like and you get three. like BNR and Caston and cloud database SaaS monitoring. There, there are um, a lot of. Uh, solutions in there is not just uh, one type so this is good yeah it brings up a good point because it's it's browsable here that's true it is yeah. it's more of a category than it is a thematic group so good shout so awesome thank you joe and, and it's all joe so joe for now but uh, his joe colleagues will now. probably bring up some other content as well all right next up let's see here oh my computer's getting wonky matt maddie it's not working right there we go um Looks like Germany, or no, looks like Netherlands. Looks Netherlands. like uh, Object First and Veeam are up to something. Yes, so this is a VUG Netherlands virtual event on Tuesday, March 19th. We have Jos and Sander, who are VUG Netherlands leaders, together with Walter from Object First, discussing Veeam and Object First integration. And then Sander is going to go on how to back up domain controllers correctly and at the end i can see there's a raffle as well um and um you know you can get this price i think it's a puzzle if i'm not mistaken uh so i think overall it's going to be a fun event and that's well, brought i think that that puzzle is brought by object first so you know i i'm a scholar for star wars and so this is uh, the sand speeder that Luke Skywalker sold in Mos Eisley before he proceeded to Bay 94 to get on the Millennium Falcon with Chewbacca and Han Solo in episode four of Star Wars. And they sold it for 2000 credits. And I think they were going to pay um, Obi-Wan and Luke were going to pay 2000 credits to Chewie and Han and then 15000 credits when they arrived. And um, I really don't know if they ever got that money. So that's a and mystery. You know all the story about this. I, I, yeah, it's funny because this was only in really the first, like, shim of the first episode. But it was an instrumental vehicle after the Jawas took apart 3PO and stuff like that. So, anyways, I know my story. That's going to be a cool price, right? Yeah, it's going to be People awesome. You should go and uh, win it. All right, Germany. This is next week for you right in frankfurt yes this is going to be thursday the 21st i will be there for this one our leaders michael melter falco tobias together with our sponsor fujitsu they put together a full agenda yes thank you for opening that you're gonna see how good of an agenda we have in here uh we're gonna have fabian max andre on our team that are gonna be there to to talk about beam solution 
Andre is not on the list. He's going to be a surprise because it was kind of last minute deciding to go, but uh, he's going to still be there. And I think he's going to talk about uh, Salesforce. So that's going to be really good. I'm looking forward to it. I've only got back from Germany, as I said. Wow. Well, <laughs> going back to Frankfurt. I will say, so you are blowing the surprise that AZ will be up on the agenda. Yes. But I got to say, Maddie, you convinced him to go last week. So so good on you. I'm good happy on you that, that I did. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. All right. Um, there's the, the agenda. And last up is looks like Brazil. Looks like we got object first again. Yes. Last but not least, this is again a virtual event. VUG Brazil on March 22nd. Beth, Mateus, Jean. Uh, are going to have Luis, who is a new Vanguard, actually, um, to discuss about Beam and Object First integration. So, yeah, let's see how this is going to be, because I see they did not give a lot of details in about this event. But, I mean, the title says it all. It's like uh, definitely yeah, Beam, Beam and Object, Object First, First integration. Somewhere. Yeah. I, well, so. I guess I could do... The translation situation, eh? So there we go. Yeah, and but and congratulations, Luis, for being um, nominated this year. You know, Absolutely. rock and roll. He's always got the good stuff. So yeah, All already right. fifteen registrants. So that's always good. So, <laughs> you right, know next, that with yeah, Brazil, Brazil does, uh, events, you get a lot of people attending. Brazil represents. They perform. So for sure, for sure. Um, <laughs> Some of these who's new are hilarious, Sophie Omo. Good to see. Yeah, these are good. Anyways, uh, thank you to Sophia for preparing the who's new. We are at plus 88. I'm looking at some of these. They are. They're good. They're good. I mean, one of these, I don't even know if I can say on camera. That's hilarious. All right. Let's take a look at the Alfred's pick and coolest usernames. Wiggle Wiggle. Coolest ones are Silver Fox, Cottage Guy, Letterbox, and Seeker. I like those. Yeah, I have a funny cool. list probably not suitable for this but i have a funny story about a silver fox somebody tell when you see me sometime ask about it all right alfred's pick this week is air gabbed oh not air gapped but air gabbed that's hilarious that's I creative who are is, you let us yeah, know exactly welcome everyone and uh, especially these featured users that's great well maddie as you can hear we're getting ready to light up this user group people are rolling Absolutely. in so. that looks I good i can already up and see record. the screen we join community hub this is this is oh, cool yeah, look at good. that there how we awesome go. is Sophie that Omo i can see the girls ER yeah hello yeah, we're getting ready so, good. so yeah. yeah well guys let us know in the community how this event went, right? Yeah, we need yeah. some pictures. We need some feedback. Let us know. I got to like probably like maybe. Um, oh, I know what I was going to do. Remember, I was, oh, I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to just do it. It'll be a surprise for next week. So, yeah, awesome. you should. Okay. All right, Maddie. Hey, uh, first of all, I hope you feel better. You know, it's tough. I'm to trying. Talk a lot when you're not 100 percent. Yeah, you're pushing through just good. I appreciate that. And uh, thank you for also curating all the content friends i tell you she sends a content in and it's a great pick every week i look for things maybe to add but she's on it i really appreciate you maddie for that and uh everyone have a good week dare i say normal circumstances for me next week but who knows for you so we not will for see. me <laughs> <laughs> not for you so we'll see how we go but anyways have a great weekend everyone